Yo, what's up guys? As you can probably tell, I'm here in London, come here for work, so that means I'm going to miss an evening of training. Um, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to sit down with the camera and chat to you guys about what has happened in the last week. So as you've probably just seen, I did my third 60k week with a back-to-back -back long run on the weekend. On Saturday I did a 16k with 500 meters elevation, on the Sunday I did 21k with 1000 meters of elevation. It was a really big week and a big weekend. So then this week I went out for a run on Tuesday. I went out to do a 5k at an easy pace. It was supposed to be a recovery run, uh, but mistakenly I decided to run it fast. I annoyingly ran with my ego um, and I thought, oh, this is really good. I'm enjoying running fast. I've had a great few weeks of training and each kilometer kept getting faster and faster until the final kilometer where it was all uphill to my house and I again went faster on that kilometre. Um, came in and I was quite sore afterwards. Everything kind of felt fine then, but the next morning I woke up and my hamstring was tight in my left leg. So there was a point in particular at the back of my leg that was sore. It was a little bit sore uh, walking around on it. Um, I knew that I had a, like, a tiny little pull in my hamstring. So that's kind of wrecked the week of training. Um, it was supposed to be a recovery week where I was going to be doing maybe 35 or 40 kilometers, um, but that hasn't happened. So I ended up doing that 5K. I had a couple of evenings on the bike, and then I went out yesterday, Sunday morning, to do a kind of easy run again, about 10K. We did about nine. Um, and it all felt fine, nothing was hurting, but I, I'm going to say I'm just, I'm just not 100%. Um, so I had a nice ice bath, put ice on it, I've rested, had a quick go on the bike this morning and it felt good. Um, so the idea is now to see how it is tomorrow. I'm going to go out and do an easy 5k this time. So 5 kilometers flat, probably around the 7 minute kilometer pace, so a really light jog no effort at all, I just want to see how it feels and if that's fine I'll then maybe do it again on Wednesday or Thursday. So this week was supposed to be another biggish week, maybe around the 60 kilometer mark, that's obviously not going to happen now. So all I care about more than anything is just making sure this little niggly hamstring thing goes away and stays away. Yo, what's up guys? So, I'm back from London and it's two weeks later and quite a few things have changed and things have happened in that time. Um, the first thing is, let me tell you the whole story now that I've worked it out. So, if you watched my last video where I went to Brecon, at the very end I said I had a fall on my left hip and I was worried it was going to be quite a sore one and come out with bruising and all sorts. Well, that didn't quite happen but that seems to have been the cause of all my problems these last couple of weeks. Like I said earlier on, um, I ran a 5k two days after falling on my hip and then after that my hamstring was sore in my left leg. Um, I went to see a physio, a friend of mine, and um, he assessed me and he said that my whole left side was out, that I was up on this left shoulder, the shoulder blade, the hip, everything. Um, when he looked at my pelvis, it had rotated forwards. Um, so if you imagine the hamstring along the back of a leg that connects to this pelvis, as it had rotated forward and got stuck there, it had stretched the hamstring really tight. So he did a lot of work, got my pelvis to reset, and since then things have been a lot better. Um, I've also been to see a sports massage therapist yesterday who's given my legs a kind of work over a bit sore today because I feel a bit battered from that. But apart from that, things are going much better. So I had two weeks off, um, not full weeks off. I was doing um, quite a bit of work on the bike to try and maintain some fitness. And I was squeezing in the odd um, slow run here and there. Um, but for the most part, I wasn't doing the majority of the mileage I've been doing recently. So. This week, the third week, 
Um, I'd gone out running like normal, I would say. I went out and did um, a Tuesday run, I did a Thursday run, and then I went out on the weekend, and I was just gonna do a 10K. I wanted to see how I felt doing 10K. Ended up doing 20, because my legs felt fine. Uh, no pain at all. Um, the only thing that's really lacking at the moment is confidence. Um, obviously because of this little injury that I had the last couple of weeks and because the race is now three and a half weeks away, biggest thing is I don't want this to happen again. I want to just make sure I get there and stay happy and healthy. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest thing at the moment, confidence. And also because it's been two weeks without running, don't feel like I'm quite as fast as I was before, but I've got quite the same level of fitness, you know, that little bit has come off the top. Um, but anyway, I've got um, going out for another few runs this week, and then I'll have the Cardiff Half Marathon next Sunday. Um, assuming I still feel fine this week, I'm going to give that a go. Um, I'm not going to be going for any sort of times in particular, because... Um, it's not worth risking it when this ultra is the top of my list in terms of what I want to do. So it's going to just be a long run. Um, so yeah, last week, or this week, if I can Sunday now, um, I had done about a 35k week and I plan on doing something like 40 in this week coming up. Maybe another 40 again and then it'll be the ultra week. So I know that's not quite what I had in mind originally, um, but sometimes these plans change and... Um, several months ago when I first started running again if I said to you like what my goals were for this race it was just to complete it um, and over time the goals had changed to uh, you know running it faster running it really well and seeing how well I can position and things like that but you know it, I had some really good progress over the last few months and now it's just kind of made me realize no the main thing what I want from this race is to finish um, you never know on the day, I could feel perfect, it's still three and a half weeks away and I could have an outstanding race with a bit of pressure off my shoulders as well so that's the point where I'm at now. I haven't really got any running for you this week because when I've been going out I haven't been thinking about filming, I've been thinking about just going out and testing my legs and seeing how I'm feeling. Um, this week coming up, like I said, it's Cardiff Half, I might take the camera along and yeah i'll be back next week and i'll have some wicked running video stuff for you guys so thanks for watching thanks for listening to me bang on about my hamstring for the last five or six minutes i really appreciate it um, if you've enjoyed please subscribe and